of the 372 million repositories on GitHub, only 10% are public. If you're a developer who's not open sourcing most of your code, you're making a huge mistake. I have three harsh truths about that that explain why. But if you can get to the end of those, I'll reward you by sharing a checklist that I've used when open sourcing my last two projects that'll make the process a lot easier when you're ready to do that. I'm already getting ahead of myself and I'm sick of standing. So I sat down to tell you that the first reason to open source your code is that you don't have a good reason to not do it. Your excuses are BS. The first of which is always, someone will steal my code. No, they're not. They're not gonna do that. Your idea or your code is not your competitive advantage. If any of these three things are true though, I will actually give you a pass on this point. One, your code is really, really difficult to replicate. Two, your idea is unique. Or three, you're in an emerging winner take all or most market. Chances are none of those are true. Your code ain't unique. Code is now a commodity. Thanks to the internet, AI, it now takes less skill, less time, and less money to replicate this complex stuff. Listen, it's fall 2023. GitHub Copilot can right now run sentiment analysis, parse data, calculate average runtimes, and write unit tests for all of those in seconds. The AI market cap is going to go up 3x in the next five years, getting to over $407 billion. Over 400 billies are going into this. It's going to get easier to code more difficult stuff, including whatever you've already made. Like what we write is not inherently precious anymore. This applies to your idea too. It's also not not special even if you did market research and you found that no one else is doing this like that's actually a sign that you're probably building the wrong thing because millions of other developers are trying to have side hustles side gigs they're facing the same problems you are so not only is it not unique it's also not better than other ideas you can get easily enough you can ask GPT like hey give me some business ideas in this context and give it some examples and it'll give you business ideas that will outperform those from our best business school students in the US okay <laughs> First of all, that's hilarious that these Wharton School students are getting pwned by AI and then someone's writing a research paper about it and roasting them on the internet. But also, we'd get roasted too as developers if the same thing happened. Like, their code is way better than mine, and so are their ideas. If we think we have some revolutionary app that no one's thought about, that by sharing it, they're all going to copy us, like, it's not going to happen. Even if that did happen, like, it wouldn't change that much. So you lose a little bit of a head start but they're gonna have to read through all your code anyway, then they're gonna have to adapt it, and you're probably not in an emerging or winner-take-all market in the first place, so it's fine if they're doing the same thing as you. Take Uber and HelloFresh, two actual leaders in winner-take-most markets. They each have over 130 public repos. Like, if anyone should be hoarding their ideas and code, it should be these guys, and they're not that concerned about it. So why are we fooling ourselves like our IP is really that special? It ain't anymore. Come on. All right, it came out hot in the first part, but we're flipping the script now. The second BS reason why people don't open source their code is they think that no one cares about me or my code or my project. Okay, this shows that you don't have delusions of grandeur, but you do have delusions of insignificance. Here's how I know. I care. My LinkedIn feed, for example, is full of cringe, lies, fake virtue signaling. I'm sick of this stuff. I want to hear from people like you who have done real work and have the guts to show it. If I care, th remember, there are tens of millions of other people just like me who will also care about your project. Another common excuse that developers give for not open sourcing the project is they think it's not ready yet. Okay, this shows that you're not a narcissist and you're not totally insecure, but you are a perfectionist. I know because I am a recovering perfectionist and I had this fear that all my dev friends would see my code and scour it and roast me in the group chat about it. But listen, the truth is the code does not have to be perfect. Most people don't even look at the code. This is the percentage of people who after learning about my project and having the URL to the GitHub right in front of them actually went there and forked the code. That's not a typo. Less than 1% of people. If that few people are gonna actually see it, like, it's okay. Not everyone's gonna drop everything they're doing and read through every line of your code. Chill. So yeah, your code isn't perfect and that's fine. Just open source it and you'll get the benefits of doing it. The first of which is that you'll grow a high quality audience. Fact, 
tall chads with stacked jawlines have life easier. Another fact, developers with big audiences also have life easier. Easier to get jobs and clients, more money. Easier to convince people to work for you, more talent. Easier to convey your values and personality, more friends. Okay, my turn. I built a calendar. There are a few things that make it different, but you know, it's a calendar. It doesn't even work that great right now, like it's a little janky, but I was not a perfectionist. I still open sourced it. I posted about it. Here's how it affected my audience in the three weeks after open sourcing it. I got over 400,000 impressions, mostly from Reddit. So that's my top of funnel. My landing page traffic, mid funnel, that went up 6x. And my user base, bottom of funnel, that went up 33%. You can get a lot of attention by just cleaning up the code and posting about it on social. Another reason you should open source your code is because it helps you validate your ideas and your work. Okay, so you made a thing and that is interesting, but will anyone pay for it? Will anyone use it? Will you be able to quit your job and focus on this full time? Until you get in front of people, the right people, you just don't know. But it turns out getting feedback from the right type of people is harder than it seems. Like sure, your mom and friends will try it out and tell you what you want to hear. You want to hear from the people who have the problem that your code solves. And getting access to those people is hard because they don't know about you, they don't know about your solution. And then once they find out, they need to understand how it solves their problem better than whatever current solution they're using. So they have a very high bar. And even if they did try it, it's hard to get them to tell you what could be improved if they didn't like it like they'll just go back to what they're already using you need to give them reasons to do all that and open sourcing it might be just a little nudge that they need to try it out and to give you feedback you'll get more trial users more downloads more replies and that'll come from the right category of people which will massively improve the odds of your project success so go ahead open source most of your code you don't have a good reason not to do it and you have at least two reasons why it does make sense. Your audience will get a lot better, which will improve your career, and you'll get valuable feedback from the right people, which will improve your project and save you a lot of time. Speaking of saving time, I made a checklist that'll help you do just that once you do decide to open source your project. Here's a little preview. Short and sweet, actual terminal commands. No fluff, no paywall, no email signup required. Just click the link in the description, check it out, let me know how it goes. Good luck. Goodbye.